Johnny here from Uno Media. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you create lists within Active Campaign and then add them to your automations to get them started. So stay tuned. At Uno Media, we help companies grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and online marketing techniques. From websites to automated sales funnels, social media content, and much more. We're constantly releasing new material on YouTube channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to very quickly tell you about our exclusive offer. We are giving away free access to our paid Hub you know platform for the first 50 people who click on the link in the description. This offer is going on all of our YouTube videos, so hurry and make sure you get your place. Within Hub Uno, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on email automation using ActiveCampaign. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click on that link in the description. Now let's get on with the video. In this lesson, we're going to talk about lists, why lists are important, why they should be the first things you need to set up, and what you need to use them for. The user will join a list once they've filled in a form. Once they're on that list, it will then start the automation process. You can have multiple forms leading to multiple lists or multiple forms leading to just one list. For example, we have different lists depending on whether people have signed up for our free online course or whether they've requested our free website analysis or if they've downloaded a free ebook. These lists can then be subdivided using tags. A user will be given a tag once they've gone through and completed a certain action. For example, Two users could join one list, which will send them both into the same automated email chain. However, one user could click the link in the automated email that you send out, and one user may not click the link. Those users probably need to go down different paths and have different tags on their system. One user will get a tag saying that they have clicked the link and may go on one path, and another user will be set on another path. So firstly, your leads will be split into lists. After that, they will be subdivided into tags depending on their actions. We're going to look at how you create lists and then subdivide them using tags in Active Campaign. When you sign up for Active Campaign, the first thing I would recommend is that you set up your lists. So on the left, you can click on lists here. This will take you through to this page, and these are where your contact lists would appear. So when they sign up, for example, for a newsletter, they go on to one of these lists. So if I was set a list, let's say newsletter, link URL, put in your company's URL. Don't need to put it in twice. And then a reminder of why they're on the list. So newsletter might be one list. Another list might be, for example, if they've downloaded you may be producing an ebook. Again, put your company's URL in there. So this will automatically split your uh, contacts into different lists. And then you can go on to things such as manage the fields. Now managing fields, if say for example, you're collecting a user's first name, last name, their email address or phone, here it shows that there is a percentage sign, then capital first name with no spaces, then a percentage sign. If you put that into the email, uh, it means that it will put their first name in the email, whoever they are. So you've got your lists, you've got your field set up, and this automatically will set up like this. The next bit is how you subdivide these lists. So if you go into contacts, a way of subdividing these lists, if you go into manage tags, this is where you'd subdivide your list. So say for example, someone could be a contact who has signed up for the ebook, who has also visited your blog, or someone who's gone for your newsletter, and they've also visited one of your blogs and visited your product page. So in the tag section, it will go into later when designing your automations, you need to think about ways that you would subdivide the users in your lists. And once you've got lists done, we can start to set up the automation campaign in the emails. 
So here's an example of an automation we just finished. And as you can see here, there's an add tag call booked, which means if a user gets to here, they have booked a call. Now, just to show what this looks like for a contact, this is what it'll look like on the contact details page. So the list they are on is the free online course. As you can see there, they've been split up and that is where they've got their call booked. And they've also got another tag on our system saying that they have website analysis requested. Now put a tag on the system, it is really, really easy. You just click the plus. You do start on sending options. You need to go down to contacts, add a tag, and you can get rid of that one. And you can just type in whatever tag you wanted. So I'll just call it tag one as an example. Click save. And any time a user goes past that, that will be added onto their system. And it could be a really good way to subdivide your lists. Another great thing about tags in your contact section, you can search users by lists and you can also search them by what tag they have on their file as well. So once you subdivide a list, you can then search either an individual user and see what tags are allocated to them, or you can search um, by tags and then look at which users or contacts have those tags allocated to their system. And then you can look at perhaps retargeting them with a new campaign. Later on in the course, you'll be learning about email automations. Email automations usually start by a user or potential lead joining a list. So this is what it may look like. So start from scratch. So you can see here, this will be add a start trigger. So usually it's going to be that they subscribe to a list. So you click on there, you click continue, and you select which list they would subscribe to. So I'll choose free online course here, click add start. And then as soon as they subscribe to that list, they would go into the first action that we will learn about in the automation lesson.